Boys, have you ever played one of your favorite games? You know, it could be, especially games that were great in its prime, but now you're like, what happened to the game that I love? Could be Call of Duty, could be 2K, could be Madden, could be FIFA, could be MLB The Show. Probably wouldn't be MLB The Show, but you get the point. Um, Dude, this is bad. This is this is actually really, really bad. Like, I've never seen a AAA game pretty much like blame its consumers for the state of the game and then punish their community for the state of the game or at least the state of how much money they're making at the moment and just blame the community Bl blame the people that play their game for not spending enough money to keep their shit in check so this is just this is crossing the line as far as a gaming company being so I would say oblivious to their own problems it, it's just it's just crazy to me man so it all started right here herb pretty much put out a tweet saying take two said in its earnings call presentation that recurring consumer spending declined seven percent and now I want you to look at this slightly below expectations right and if we're gonna get to what 2k's definition of slightly really means this is this was driven by weakness in mobile advertising in nba 2k which was largely due, due to the effect of lower unit sales on its in-game monetization so um uh, pretty much 2k thought we didn't do a good job they didn't do a good job of marketing the game and doing this and doing that getting people to spend money on the game so they decided we know exactly what this community is dying to see the 2k dropped this set this is mind you seven days later after herb had put out that tweet <laughs> dude the first ever 100 overall my team card is coming to all-star packs tomorrow which was february 15th and they dropped kareem all the all-star starters and then the reserves. The reserves were all pink diamonds. These players over here were buyable. Everyone else, you could only get them through the packs. It was disgusting. It was revolting. It was probably the most money driven thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Everyone did not like it. The only positive that came out of this was that the community was gonna get a new D book and a new Kawhi and that was it and unless you're fans of any of these players i'm a fan of tyrese maxi i got his card i grinded for the thing so got the mt i needed in order to buy him but outside of that unless you're a fan of these guys you only really cared about maybe two people so yeah it really really sucked to see that we couldn't get any of these starters we all wanted to play with tatum Embiid, Giannis, LeBron, Luca, we, KD, we all wanted, Shay, we all wanted to play with these guys, but we couldn't. We were only able to get them through packs, and even then, getting them was hard as it is. And then getting Kareem is even 10 times harder. You don't see Kareem Abdul-Jabbar out there on the court, and thank God you don't, but even then, it's like, why is he just not available to just buy for a certain amount of MT? Why? Why? He should be available to buy. They should be. You know what? Maybe he shouldn't be available to buy, but these guys should definitely be available to buy. It makes no sense. You can make this like a limited card like how they used to back in 2K19. Not many people got too mad about it because it was a limited card. Only a certain amount of people will have that card. So it will be a rarity to go see the card. I would have been fine with that but instead they chose the route of hey you can only get him through packs and him and him and him and him and him it was disgusting no one wanted it and then the very next week 2k doubled down they pretty much dropped this again and i will go down to that other tweet i will show in a little bit yeah they dropped kobe shaq 100 overall shaq was 100 overall in this set had all the crazy animations ridiculous you also got D Rob, Jalen Green, Sean Marion. It's just all this all in packs once again. It was disgusting. And then, like, bro, like, why? No one wants this, right? And then look at this right here. Look at what Uncle Dre put down here. Community feedback is in action here. In previous years, the best player cards in the game were only directly available through the auction house at, at my team point prices that could feel 
unobtainable. They said it right here. It would feel unattainable to the player to go get these cards. And they were right at the time because last year, because of the MT sellers and all that stuff, they were able to get MT at a crazy clip because uh, according to DBG's, you know, thinking it makes a lot of sense because they farm a lot of their MT. They got so much more that they, they could actually bump up some of these prices for some of these cards. So cars would be costing like 500, 600, 700 K. It was absolutely ridiculous. So <laughs> that it did feel unobtainable, but what they're doing with these, right? What they're doing with this and then this it's, it just, it completely defeats the purpose of everything that they just said. It, it just made it pointless. Right. And then it says, and then it says with great budget funds coming at the detriment of the players who listed player cards at that price. This was far from a fair system for my team players looking to add new or favorite player card. I'm sorry, 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 a new or favorite player card to their collection. And now the player market replaces the auction house with a level playing field for everyone in my team. They lied to our faces and drop this shit. Unbelievable, right? And then they, sorry, I did, yeah, they, they doubled down again, did super packs. The only ones that were available in these packs that were in the player market were Porzingis, Corver, Baron Davis, and Vince Carter. Michael Beasley, I don't think he was available in the player market. I think he was, he was the guy that you can buy with VC straight up, but he was not in the player market. So disgusting, right? Um, and then they they tripled down did it again 100 overall kevin garnett now this is probably the weakest set that they dropped but regardless it's the same thing they're only available in packs and this is coming tomorrow in my team coming tomorrow in my team right but we you i, I guess we will look at that like oh maybe they actually did do it no 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 you go right here and you go all the way down and I can tell you right here, it's a special insert. Special insert means packs. Doesn't mean that they're in the uh, player market. It does not. Look at this again. The card art, I will say, wow, beautiful card art, but they ruined it by doing packs only again. <laughs> Why? Why? By the way, I'm putting this video out tomorrow. And if they don't change anything, I'm putting this video out and you guys are going to see it. This has to be talked about. This is, this is just disgusting. And they, they keep getting away with this, man. As a community, I'm praying that we come together and that they don't see the amount, the amount of money that they want to see. I'm hoping that they see even worse numbers than what they did before. Maybe they made a little bit of money, but maybe they didn't make as much as they thought they were. And I'm hoping that they didn't make that much off of these packs. Cause if we're being real, right? Look at Troy Dan. He's spending ungodly amount of money. He's spending a, an ungodly amount of money. I'm praying on everything that people are opening their eyes. They're seeing how bad these pack odds are and they are staying within like a, a, a fucking 30 mile radius away from these packs. I'm, 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 I'm just saying, I hope that they stay far away from these packs. You should too, because they're not worth it. These are a scam. They're not worth anyone's time or money. You're going to feel like a complete fucking dumbass by the time you're done ripping these packs. I promise you these odds are horrible. They're terrible. They're not good. They're not healthy at all. Listen, in the past, I used to do pack openings too. Well, not videos, but just, I used to rip packs too. But man, I saw, I'll, I'll make a confession here. I spent over a grand last year. I'm not proud of that, dude. I'm thoroughly disgusted. I, I, I'm, I'm taking responsibility for my own actions. That was just, that's just irresponsible as fuck by me. That's not good to do. On, on a game that already requires you to spend way over like, Seventy dollars, a hundred dollars, one hundred and fifty. That's not healthy. This needs to come to an end. And I'm praying to God that this community can come together 
and make 2k understand that this is not the way to save your game because if anything this is the way that you're punishing your community for not spending money on their game they think that we are the problem and that everything they're doing is just fine this is the way things were always supposed to be no it was not you pretty much you're, you're trying to sabotage you're sabotaging your own game by doing this my team is in a dark spot and like i said it's buried six feet under with concrete man it's uh it's not good